I'm very sorry to be standing right now only meters away from the site of the murder of Devir Sorek, who this morning, his body was found stabbed and brutally murdered here in Gush Etzion, which is a region directly south of Jerusalem, uh, right next to Efrat and Migdal Oz behind me. This is an area with a lot of Jewish people, but it's in the so-called West Bank in Judea. That's actually the ancestral homeland of the Jewish people. Now, there are elements within the Islamic Jihadist movement, uh, whether it's Hamas or Islamic Jihad or others, PFLP, who have already sent their blessings to the murderers, saying this way we're going to get rid of the Jews and keep up murdering Jews and therefore striking fear into their hearts. Yet there are thousands of Arabs whose voices are not going to be heard because they stand against uh, this jihadism, uh, but they are living in fear within their society, and they really have no ability to voice uh, their disgust at this uh, heinous crime and these kind of heinous crimes. Uh, the answer has to be uh, to this crime is to keep building in Judea and of course to be sovereign here, to hold on to this land and to never allow for a Palestinian state, which would be a jihadist state, which would stand against Israel in toto, but also against decent Arabs who want to live with us here and coexistence uh, and without fear and in freedoms. Uh, I want to wish uh, my condolences, our condolences, uh, to Tvir Sorek's family. He was a beautiful young man. Uh, he lived here, he studied Torah here, and he was a Jew rooted in his homeland. He's been slain, uh, but hopefully uh, his murder will give us strength to hold on to our land, to build, and to create a society here based on justice, based on truth, and not allow the jihad to take root here. Instead, we, the Jewish people, will take root in Judea.